Overnight, Hurricane Laura slamming ashore as a monster Category 4, punishing the Louisiana and Texas coast with winds up to 150 miles an hour. It's always been get dark, but it's another darkness. And even though we have lights, it's just, it's really different around here now. When we was coming back, it was me and my boys. We were coming back through here. The oldest one, he just cried. He just was really heartbreaking. Came around the corner, I seen had trailers broken in half on the ground, windows blowing out. It was horrible. They had a trailer, it like twisted and flipped to the side. They had two of them like rolled over. They had the poles had came completely out of the ground. Had some that trees fell in. That's a lot that fell. There's one that has, I don't know what happened. It just looked like it exploded. There was no ceiling, no roof. I mean, that's all it was was the floor. And it was gone. It was horrible. When I made the curve and I seen my house standing, I was excited. No damage from the hurricane at all. I was totally, totally blessed. The only thing happened, which my air conditioner tilted on the, onto the trailer. It didn't even fall off the block. The only thing I had to really, really do is re-level the house. This little neighborhood where I live, and there's, I want to say, three or four other Oak Creek homes. Well, I know that Oak Creek is because the way they're built. I did some research, and I was like, hey, these homes are made a little bit better. When the guys came and moved it and re-leveled it, the guys was like, oh Lord, Oak Creek home. I was like, what you mean by that? He's like, man, them things is heavy. I was like, so it ain't gonna move, you know? So he was like, that joke ain't gonna move. Like, Oak Creek homes are very solid. That's all I can say, just, I was just so thankful. So thankful. <laughs>